Hello, I'm Jim Mitzelfeld, and welcome to a discussion of the OIG's audit of information technology governance at NASA. Information technology, or IT, plays an important role in every aspect of NASA's operations. The agency spends more than $1.5 billion a year on IT to control spacecraft, process scientific data, and enable NASA personnel to collaborate around the world. Past concerns about IT security and management at NASA prompted our office to examine whether the system NASA uses to manage its IT assets, the so-called governance structure, is operating as effectively and efficiently as possible. Here with me today is Laura Nicolosi, our Office of Audit's Mission Support Director, the leader on this audit. Laura, what were the findings of your audit? Jim, we found that the decentralized nature of NASA's operations and its longstanding culture of delegating autonomy hindered the agency's ability to implement effective IT governance. The agency's Chief Information Officer, or CIO, has limited visibility and control over a majority of NASA's IT investments and operates in an organizational structure that limits the position's authority. In addition, we found that the CIO cannot enforce security measures across NASA's computer networks. Finally, NASA's IT governance structure is overly complex. For example, NASA employs 16 CIOs at different levels within the organization. As a result, NASA's current IT governance model weakens accountability and does not ensure that IT assets across the agency are cost-effective and secure. Did your audit team make any recommendations? Yes, we did. We made eight recommendations. Among the most critical are, first, that the NASA administrator consolidate the overall governance of IT in the office of the CIO to ensure adequate visibility, accountability, and integration. Second, that the agency CIO approve all IT procurement expenditures over an established dollar amount so that the CIO has the opportunity to scrutinize most IT spending. And third, that NASA reevaluate the resources of the OCIO to ensure that the office is staffed with the appropriate number and mix of personnel. What was the agency's response to your team's recommendations? Jim, the agency generally concurred with our recommendations and said that it considers IT governance and IT security top priorities. The agency is currently in the process of selecting a new CIO and said it will work with that individual to address the findings in our report. Thank you, Laura. To read the OIG's full report, please visit our website at oig.nasa.gov. <laughs>